Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today on Senior Fitness with Meredith. So today, part of our The Best Go-To Workout Series, we are doing standing cardio. So what you will need for today's intermediate level workout is some space. No fall or trip hazards around, no area rugs that you will go off the edge of and have to get back onto. So once you get all of that space created for yourself, have your water close by, get everything ready. I'll meet you right back here and we'll get started. Welcome back. We are ready to get started with our standing cardio workout. So nice and tall, abdominals pulled in, nice length in the spine, relax those shoulders. Let's start with our warm up. Let's march it out. Staying nice and proud through the upper body. So opening up, trying to keep the crown of the head straight up towards the sky as we slowly warm up the body and bring that heart rate up. So those knees will slowly come up a little bit higher. We'll pump those arms a little bit more. Legs are marching. If it's available, arms come up and around for big deep inhales and exhales. Inhale and exhale. Let's do one more. Big deep inhale. And exhale. Just keep that march going. Again, just pumping those arms a little bit more. Bringing those feet up. Still warming up the body. We'll start with front body with those taps to the front. So we'll do heel digs and we'll press those arms out to the front. So right, left, alternating lower body. Both arms are gonna press out to the front. Let's go. Press, press. Keeping the core tight, staying nice and tall, keeping a slight bend in those knee joints. Upper lower working together brings that heart rate up even more. Exhale, inhale. Three more, three, two, one more each side, come back up nice and tall, march it out, good job. Finding your footing, your breath, your posture and stance in between each movement as we come back to our march. Side body warming up now. So toe taps alternate right, left to the side. We'll alternate upper body, pressing right hand with the right, left hand with the left, let's go. Exhale, inhale. Again, abdominals tight, slight bend in those knee joints. Don't lock them out straight, hyperextend. Exhale, inhale. Four, three, two, one more each side, back up nice and tall, march it out. Good job. Back body we're focusing on, back taps with the feet, both arms working, tricep kickbacks. Right, left, let's go. Exhale, inhale. Abdominals tight, lengthen the spine, but chest does go slightly forward because everything's going to the back. Just helps keep us balanced. Four, three, two, Last one each side, back up nice and tall. Good job, relax those shoulders down. We're gonna move with our march now. So remember, being mindful of what you're standing on and what you have to stay on. So if you have an area rug and you step off of it, remember you're going backwards to get back on it. So be aware, be careful. We're gonna take four steps forward four steps back. So right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right. <laughs> All right, let's go with our moving march now. Four, three, two, four, three, two. Arms can go along if that's available and it feels good. Inhale and exhale. Four, three, two, tap. Four, three, two, tap. Inhale forward and exhale back. 
moving is not available, it just doesn't feel right, you're staying in that stationary march. You can still move those arms along. Inhale and exhale. Let's do one more for three, two. Back where we started, march it out. Good job. Side steps now. So steps as wide as you feel comfortable in the space you have provided, keeping that bend in the knees, keeping your body facing towards me. So chest is nice and proud towards me entire time. Right, left, let's go. Right and left, side to side. Again, bend in those knees. Pulling those arms back, working chest, upper back, shoulders. Four, three, two, one more each side, come back center, nice and tall, march it out. Alternate your knee raises now, right and left. If knee raise isn't available because of balance, just alternate a little toe tap to the front, pulling those arms down, right, left. Exhale, inhale, pull into those abdominals, help keep you balanced and stable. Let's do four more each side, four, three, two, one more each side, march it out. Now we'll do our hamstring curl. So focusing on the back of the leg, flexing our foot, right and left, we'll alternate, coming behind us, right and left. Exhale, inhale. Four more each side, four, three, two, one more each side, regular march out, good job. Water when you need it, listen to your body, do what feels best. Continuing on, V-steps are next. We're leading with our right side the entire time. Right, left, right, left. Let's go. Right, left, right, left. You can add the upper body if you'd like. Same thing as lower. Right, left, right, left. Three more, three. Two, last one, come back to that march, good job. You guessed it, left side leads now. Left, right, left, right. All right, we'll start lower body, then we'll add the upper. Let's go, left, right, left, right. Add upper if you choose. Open together, open together. Three, two, last one, come back to that march. Now we get to alternate. Right, left, left, right. All right, let's go. Right, left, left, right. Right, left, left, right. Keep those abdominals tight. Breathe with it, don't hold the breath. I know you're concentrating. Let's do two more on each side. Two, two, last one. Left side, come back to that march and hold it. Good job. Again, finding your posture and footing. Longer we get into our workout, we always lose that core, our shoulders lift, we bend forward, open back up. Shoulder blades down the spine, core tight, long spine, crown of the head, up towards the sky, that string is pulling you up. 
Double side steps now. Again, steps as wide as you feel comfortable in your space provided. We'll do two to the right and two to the left. All right, let's go. One, two, one, two. Bend in those knees. Pull into the right and left. Three more each way. Two. One more, right and left. And come back center, march it out, good job. We'll do our mambo steps next. Right side, transferring that weight front to back. So just staying on that right side, transferring that weight Right foot goes front and back. Let's go. Front and back. On the ball of that right foot, really press forward, press back. Feeling that calf muscle engage, that quadricep muscle engage. Core stays tight. Front and back. Front and back. Four more this side. Three, two, last one, come back center, march it out. Same thing, left side, front, back, staying on the ball of the foot, front and back, front and back. Really feel that transfer of weight, front and back, front and back. Three more, three, two, last one, up nice and tall, march it out. Good job, good job. Side taps, punching across the body. So when we tap that right foot to the side, we're gonna twist over towards our left and our right arm is gonna press across our body or punch across our body. Then other side, we tap out to the left, we twist towards our right, and our left arm goes across the body towards the right side. All right, cross punches with a tap to the side. Let's go, right and left. Bringing that foot up, twisting the body to the side. You don't wanna keep your feet planted. They need to lift up so you don't tweak the knees. So lifting as you turn the body to the side. Four, three, two, last one each side, back center, nice and tall. We're getting there, take breaks when you need them, grab that water when you need it. Don't lose our good posture. Shuffle steps are next. We're gonna do right, left, right, left. So it's just a two step front and back. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. All right, let's go. Front and back. If you didn't feel your calves before, you will now. So front, front, back, back. Right, left, right, left. Right, left, right, left. <sighs> Breathe with it, front and back. Let's do three more. Three, two, one more. Front, front, back, and march it out. Good job. All those shuffle steps, kind of pony steps, I like those. You can really feel the lower body and core working. Grapevines are our next movement. Now remember with grapevines, if bringing the foot behind the other and stepping out feels like a fall or trip hazard, it doesn't feel good on your knees and or hips, double side step. All right, I'll show both, but I'm gonna start with grapevines. That's the movement we're doing. 
right, then left. Let's go side to side. So again, if that foot going behind the other doesn't feel good on knees or hips, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Same count. Nice and tall. Keep the abdominals tight. Side to side. Let's do three more. Three, two, one more. Side to side and march it out. Good job. Almost there, just a couple more moves. Hang with me. Keep our good posture form. Let's do that check again. Core tight, shoulders relaxed, lengthen the spine. <sighs> nice and tall. Taps are gonna go behind us again. So right, left, tap. Extend, arm to the front with that punch. Right foot goes back. We're gonna bring our right hand to the front. So chest is gonna go slightly forward as those punches go out, just to counterbalance the body. Core tight, right, left, let's go. <sighs> Extending that arm straight out to me. Bring it nice and close to the body when you're done, nice and quick. Protect your body. Exhale, exhale. <sighs> Bend in those knee joints. Don't lock them out straight. Don't lock the elbow out straight when you extend it out to the front. Four more each side, four, three, two, one more right and left and march. Good job. Two more moves, that's it. <laughs> then we get to cool down and stretch. Modified jumping jacks are next. Arms are gonna come out no higher than shoulder level. We're gonna alternate tapping our feet out to the side. If you are more advanced and you want to do regular jumping jacks, by all means, please listen to your body and do what feels best. I'm modifying. Bend in both knees, right, left. Exhale and inhale. Again, bend in those knee joints. Breathe into it. Four, three, two, one more each side and march it out. Good job. One more move. Let's do those zigzag steps. So we're going to go right, left, right, left. Then we'll bring it back to where we started. Again, being aware of your surroundings. What are you on? Area rug things like that. Furniture might be around you. Being aware, zigzag steps right and left. Let's go. Right, left, right, left. Bring it back. Right, left, right, left. Bending those knees. Almost a mini squat if that feels okay. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, Coming towards me and back. Let's do three more of these. Back. Two more, front and back. Last one. and march it out. Good job. Big deep inhale and exhale. Slowly bringing the heart rate down. Not moving those and pumping those arms as much. Not bringing those knees as high, but we're still keeping our good posture and form. Keep those legs going. Bring the arms down. Just a little shake out of the arms. 
feet can stay moving slightly if you'd like. I'm gonna keep mine moving. You're more than welcome to have yours stop. Interlace the hands behind you. Open through the front body. <sighs> Breathing into that nice chest and shoulder stretch. <sighs> Release, bringing the hands in front. Interlace, round and arch the spine as you open through the back body. Breathing into that. If it's available, bring that length up overhead, a big stretch up, inhale, and release them down. I'm gonna slowly stop my feet, bring them shoulder distance apart so I have a nice stable base, slight bend in my knees, arms are down by my side. I'm gonna shrug my shoulders up, inhale, and exhale. Two more, one more, and now circle around to the front, inhaling and exhaling. And reverse it, bring our circles to the back, open through the shoulders and chest. Release those shoulder blades down the spine, good job. Now let's focus on our lower body. So we're gonna put all of our weight onto that left foot. Go onto your right heel. Hinging from the hips, we bend into our left knee. Hands can go onto that quadricep and release chest forward. Being mindful, trying not to get head below the heart because we're still bringing our heart rate down and we're standing. Don't want our blood pressure to lower too quickly. Now, bringing those right toes down, we have equal pressure, both of those feet. We slowly roll it up. Other side, all of our weight goes onto our right foot. We're on our left heel. We lean back, we get bent into our right knee. Hands can go onto that quadricep or thigh. <sighs> Breathe into that nice stretch all the way down the back of the left leg through our gluteals into our lower back. Equal pressure, both of the feet, roll it up. Bringing those feet about shoulder distance apart, hinging from our hips, just a nice hip hinge stretch going forward. Bend stays in the knees, hands can be on those hips. Now I want you to curve through the spine and roll it up, nice and slow, nice and tall. You can keep your hands on your hips, you can bring them down by your side, whichever is better for you. Just turn your head, I want you to look over to the right. When we're standing and doing this stretch, a lot of times we wanna twist the upper body. Focus on the stretches in your neck and range of motion. Chest stays proud towards me. Other side, just the head is turning, looking over left. Back to center, let your right ear release towards your right shoulder, stay nice and tall. And other side, left ear to the left shoulder. <sighs> Head comes back up center. If it's available and you do not get dizzy, you do not want to get dizzy, otherwise you need to sit down or do not do this stretch. Chin comes down towards the chest. You're looking towards the floor, not leaning forward. And again, if it's available, bringing your gaze slightly up towards the sky. You're not leaning back. Head comes back to center, arms are down by our side, our three deep inhales, exhales, inhale, bring that length up, and exhale. Two more, big deep inhale, length up overhead, and exhale. One more time, big deep inhale, arms up overhead, Exhale, release all that length out. I'm so proud of you for completing this intermediate best go-to series standing cardio workout. I'm so proud. I look forward to our next workout together.